<laughs> Gritty, welcome to Tambri Mount Distillery. Hey, come on in, I'll show you what we do. <laughs> we make schnapps, liqueurs, fruit, brandy, gin, vodka, rum, whiskey, all sorts of wonderful things. I wouldn't mind making some schnapps and liqueurs. I said, well, we won't do it illegally, we'll get licenses. Wow, the government didn't want to know. It was like a federal license and it took me 18 months to get these licenses. Whoa, talk about nightmare. Here I am, feral on the hill, dressed like this. News came through that us little ferals on the hill had been granted this incredible legal license. And mate, I was over the moon, ecstatic, excited. I words describe the thrill that we had achieved this, because at that time, it was, it, it's the most powerful liquor license in the land. Um, and only Beanley, Bundaberg, United Distillers, CSR, only the big heavyweights, the multinationals had one. And, and, and little farty us, so we were pretty excited, I can tell you. These are the magnificent plums that we use. These are the Davison plum. And they're actually harvested around this time of the year. When you make a beautiful liqueur, something happens, they're just sweet and sour. It's the most magnificent flavour. Oh, it's just so nice. Oh, yes. I'm just gonna, I'll just put a few more in. Just put a few more in. Wonderful. Look at that beautiful juice coming out of there. And then we add the sugar and the yeast. It'll take a few weeks now to do this fermentation process. I'll take the lid off. Oh, it's pretty heavy, I'll tell you what. Oh, mate, nectar of the gods. 400 litres of beautiful wild forest plum. People love this. Now we're getting the empty bottles ready for rinsing and then we'll be filling them up in a minute. So it's all rather exciting, isn't it? We put this machine on and, and this is a bottle. This washes all the bottles. We then, um, we then take them off there and put them in the, we hand fill them with this filler and then we put them on here. Getting closer now, the cork's going on. <laughs> We put the closure on, it's like a tamper-proof seal. And then we put it on, then we'll seal it with that shrink. Perfect. We have created this magnificent, this wonderful Davison Plum which we call, we call it wild forest plum liqueur. We've made a liqueur of it. <laughs> I migrated from the old, from, uh, from Ipswich in Suffolk in England in 1964 and I settled in Tasmania. And um, it wasn't long before I got the bug to, to do all sorts of exciting things. In this country, you can do whatever you want. So I just love getting involved with things. I love projects and um, I love getting a buzz out of a satisfaction out of doing things and then, then I started to do some building property development bought some land and created subdivisions built some units met Allah built a built a house down there and um, and then darling Allah my wife uh, she got very ill and um, we we decided that we would move to Queensland for a warmer climate to try and sort her health problems out. And we found this property here, it was, a, it was a rundown citrus and avocado orchard. There was no trees here. All these trees you see here, every single one I, I, I've planted. And the, it, it's just staggering how they've grown like over the years. The sad loss 
of my beautiful, wonderful 27-year-old son who passed away in April, April the 11th last year. We still find it very difficult on a daily basis to come to grips and terms with, with this wonderful young man who has played such a big part in this business. You suppose you bury your parents, not your children. Big sad loss for me. To motivate myself to think, Lord, you just have another, you just have another thing in store for my beautiful boy. Tell me I can't have something or do something. Oh, what a, the person who says that have got Buckley's because I'll go over the mountain, through the mountain or around the side until I achieve my goal. There's never enough hours in the day for me. I just love challenges. I get bored very quickly. 100 years old and I'll still be going like this. I know I will. And I never wear long trousers. Don't even have any. I believe we have a birthday boy here. And is that Rod, isn't it? Is that you? Right. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to toast Rod and wish him a happy birthday. At the crunch, we're all going to form a circle, clink glasses and say happy birthday to Rod. So we'll do that after. So, with further ado, everybody, you all got a, one? Got a glass? Now you guys up the back, are you in this? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rod. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Nazgaravia. All the best. Yeehoo. Down the hatch. <laughs> That was, that was a bit strong, but it, it, it didn't work, did it?